Attention viewers, this is the doctor speaking. Subscribe! Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bossy and welcome back to another one of my videos. And today I want to talk to you guys about Black Ops 3 Zombies. I want to speculate about uh, the extra map that we could be getting uh, with the Season Pass uh, DLC. And uh, I'm going to speculate on that and whether or not it could be something similar to Nuketown Zombies. And uh, in my opinion, I really don't want to see that again. I really want to see something amazing this time around. Not to say that Nuketown Zombies wasn't amazing. I'm just saying that that map was sort of like an extra thing that we um, got. Because, you know, with Transit, nobody liked it, to be quite honest. And everybody just went to Nuketown Zombies and played that map. And uh, hopefully that doesn't happen this year. Hopefully we have two great, awesome maps uh, with Black Ops 3 Zombies, and I am pretty much almost certain that we're gonna get some sort of an extra map, if not, you know, multiple extra maps, because, um, if you don't know, this year around, um, for their Call of Duty game, Treyarch, uh, they had three years dev time, so why not, you know, why wouldn't they make extra maps for us to play, so, um, hopefully it could be like Black Ops 1, where they had, uh, two extra maps, I know that the, uh, the second extra map, um, was Dead Ops Arcade, and that was sort of like an arcade-style zombie thing. It wasn't necessarily a map of its own, I guess, but that did definitely take a, a lot of time, um, because if you look at it, it's really detailed and stuff like that, so um, that would be kind of cool if they made something like that, like an arcade-styled um, zombies thing. I don't know if you guys would enjoy that. Let me know down in the comment section below. But um, So I know there was a Reddit leak in the past, and they were talking about four zombie maps, um, the person who posted this and apparently they had names for this and stuff like that but uh, it was probably fake let's be honest um, he was saying he worked for Treyarch or something like that for the marketing crew I doubt it he gave us the names of the maps and the descriptions and stuff like that uh, let's be honest it's probably fake but it's a good idea and what if they actually do give us four zombie maps or you know three five I don't know it's just some random number throw it out there but uh, that would be crazy because again they do have three years that you know they've developed this game over and you know who knows how many maps they could give to us obviously uh, the maps wouldn't be enormous because um you know that would take too long but um again they did have three years so i don't know how game development works uh maybe they're gonna give us uh, just four extra um small zombie maps like nuketown uh zombies so i know that we have nuketown 2065 coming back in black ops 3 and um, that's pretty cool. Um, I was kind of thinking that maybe they'll uh, do something like Nuketown 2065 Zombies. That obviously sounds really stupid. Um, but I, I would really just love to see a new sort of map. I know that they're not going to be going back to Nuketown Zombies. It's just a little thought I had in my head. So could we be seeing different crews on each map? Because I know that uh, with the map that we get with the game, of course, we probably will be seeing the original crew back. Let's be honest, because Treyarch know that we don't want any new crew um, or, you know, the transit crew coming back because they obviously did die. So hopefully they don't get resurrected or something from the dead and we play as zombies. But that would be absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to play as the original characters in all of these maps or, you know, the extra map that we get. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really having a hard time believing that it's only going to be one extra map because just think of all the time that they've had. They've had three years development time. I think they're, I think the, the game is going to come with a huge, huge map, something similar to Transit. And then the rest of the maps are just going to be like small Nuketown zombie sized maps. And, uh, that's just my opinion. Um, and, and don't get deterred by the fact that it might be like a Transit map, um, because there won't be missed. They're probably going to make this a lot, a lot better um, because, you know, there's no, there's just no limits now due to the consoles uh, that we have now. And it's, it's, it's just going to be awesome in my opinion and I'm definitely looking forward to it. But um, yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll get to play as the uh, four original characters on each map or maybe not, probably not. We're probably going to get um, different characters and stuff like that, but I, I doubt that we're going to get... Um, you know, all these different amazing star-studded casts for each map because that would cost Treyarch a lot of money, let's be honest. Um, with Exo Zombies, they had an amazing cast of four characters and they actually had an additional fifth character. Um, <laughs> and it really, it blowed my mind because I was like, how did they get the money to pay all these actors? And then I realized this is the Call of Duty franchise, they get a lot of money. 
So, live in large, baby. What if we actually get a custom map builder for the Season Pass DLC, or maybe it comes with the game? That would be really awesome. I would definitely like to see the community actually uh, give us what they think would be a good zombies map, and it's something awesome because it gives us that creative freedom that we want. Um, it's sort of similar to Minecraft. It could go really long. Like, if you imagine, you know, making your own map and, and getting to entertain people, that's just really awesome. I know for, for certain I would make a, a map myself and I would probably advertise it on my channel here, but, uh, um, I, I definitely think it would, um, elongate, you know, Black Ops 3's life, you know, because if you look into the future, we have to wait another three years before, um, Black Ops 4 Zombies or whatever it's called is gonna be coming out. And I really don't want to wait that long again, so hopefully we have a custom map builder. I know it's been thrown around the community, and it's something that a lot of us want to see, and uh, hopefully you do too, because this is just a really good idea. If you don't agree with me, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Come on. Custom maps in Black Ops 3 Zombies? That sounds absolutely amazing. I would definitely like to see that, so let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this and uh, what kind of custom map you would build if they actually let us do this. So, what if we actually got four maps and what if these maps were all right after each other, like in a storyline? What if instead of waiting for DLC, we already have four story maps? Uh, to go for and it's it sounds really amazing because in the end we could have like eight zombie maps to play um I really like this idea I definitely think that would be something cool for Treyarch to do um obviously there would be so much content that we would be you know the first DLC we wouldn't even need it we would <laughs> wait till like summer or something like that because there would be so much time to play all these different four maps and uh, to analyze the story and everything that's going on the Easter eggs man I can't wait for them but, uh, I don't know, that sounds really awesome. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Um, what if they actually bring back the crew from 5? Because we really don't know what happened to them. Um, because if you actually go back to Black Ops 1, uh, they were calling, um, the Ascension crew, which was obviously the original Zombies crew, um, on those red phones. And the, 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 the map 5 was actually happening at the same time that Ascension was, and... They were trying to call for help and stuff like that, and I really don't know what happened to them. Let's be honest, they probably got eaten by zombies, um, but maybe they actually survived. So, what if we actually get to see the five crew come back? That would be absolutely awesome. Maybe that could be, like, the extra map that we see, and it's definitely something that I would love to see, and um, I just really want to see what, what happened to them, and whether or not they got out of the Pentagon. Uh, maybe they go somewhere else. Maybe they go to... Um, the Washington Monument or something like that. That would be crazy. <laughs> um, somewhere in Washington, D.C. I really think that would be a cool map. Or, maybe, this is my final theory, maybe we could get all of the maps that we've gotten in the past, um, from World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, all in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Maybe that's what they're gonna be doing this year. Um, this time around, maybe they're just going to give us all the maps remastered on one disc, no cost. Um, <laughs> or maybe they're going to give us to, maybe they're going to give it to us on the season pass. Um, so, I don't know. That's my ideas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a rating, please subscribe, and have a wonderful day. See you guys later.